We're almost there. Come along, Lou. Just follow me. It's all right. We're almost to the other side. James! Behind you! Fine. Just keep moving forward. Ah, oh, son of a...
I'm so anxious that I can't even think straight. I just need a moment to collect my thoughts. Oh, it's you. Wait, was that you with your partner? And that girl? Sorry, this is all my fault. Yes, it's me, the great Michael Carpenter, master horror novelist and current prisoner of the Prime Hotel. Sounds like one of my stories, huh? Well, I wrote my first bestseller while I was renting the penthouse here. Anyway, it's a long story. My slides are somewhere around here. You can take whatever you like. Here, I hope this helps.
I've been held captive in my room ever since I arrived at the Prime Hotel. I thought this place was abandoned, so it seemed like the perfect place to get some privacy and write a best-selling novel. I was poor at the time, so the low rent was good too. Months and years passed, but my attempts to write a great novel failed one after another. What little savings I had were gone. One rainy evening, when I was deep in despair, it appeared to me. This creature showed me something wondrous. The widows, monsters from the other side. I was more inspired than frightened, so I finished my first story that night. My book sold so well that I just had to buy this hotel. It saved me. I thought my life was perfect until I got writer's block during my second novel as well. That's when it returned. We made a deal that time. The creature said that it just wanted the hotel. I didn't see any harm in it, so I let it do as it pleased. In return, all the creatures it revealed populated my stories. What I didn't realize was it was slowly trapping me. First, it wouldn't let me leave the hotel. Then I couldn't go downstairs. Strangely, I thought nothing of it because I was so busy writing. It showed me so many amazing creatures, and they never hurt me. One night, I tried to open my penthouse door. It was locked. I should have left then, but I knew I wouldn't be able to write outside of the hotel and the creatures within it. After publishing The Other Side, my fans demanded even more novels. I feared what would happen if I stopped writing. The creatures left me alone, but I knew that I was an exception to the rule. One morning, I gathered my courage and tried to sneak out when I thought they were dormant. But the creature cornered me and reminded me of our agreement. I knew I was in over my head. So that's why I called in you and the others. You're all paranormal experts. I was certain one of you could figure out how to drive it out. You say some spiders attacked your partner James? And that girl, Lou? Those creatures are called widows. They're very dangerous. Anyone they capture, they turn into their puppet, a Wendigo. I'm surprised you escaped. Everyone else has become a Wendigo. But please, don't despair. You can still free your friend. All you need is the antidote. It's described in detail in my novel about the widows. You can find it in the library. Unfortunately, that girl has been under the widow's influence longer. The poison has likely corrupted her mind. That hole attracts both of them, but you can't reach the hole without the black crystal. Due to the contract, I can't leave the penthouse, though I wish I could. I'll help you from here whenever I can. Find that recipe.